Hi folks, what you're looking at is the business end of the new draw scraper tool that I'm making. This tool here is one sixteenth of an inch wide. It replaces the draw scraper that I have been making for the last year or so, which was a wide draw scraper, one eighth of an inch wide as opposed to a sixteenth of an inch wide. And one of the reasons I made this wide scraper was for working on very large reeds. But I found that it also fit inside of a marine band harmonica and I thought it was pretty cool. So I've, I made these for a while, but I've gone back to this narrow one. Now one of the reasons I like the, the wider tool is that it was a little easier to sharpen but I had this new version of the narrow scraper made with tighter tolerances so that the, there's a really flat edge that you can use to register the tool for sharpening and it makes it pretty easy to sharpen all you need to do is put it on a hard Arkansas stone like this and I'm placing this flat edge on the stone like this, okay, so that I can feel that there, that flat area is in solid contact, then I just bring it up just slightly like this to create a very shallow angle and then draw it forward on the stone. So if you do that a couple of times, you don't have to do much to dress up the blade. It comes razor sharp. And this will give you a tool that is super sharp and will peel off a nice little ribbon of brass. If you line it up just right, you get a pretty wide ribbon of brass. And when you use it on reeds, you get these nice little streaks that break up the mill marks on the reed and they actually make the reed last longer because it breaks up that those mill marks that are going sideways on the reed so it's a very very uh, safe way to drop the pitch on a reed and since it also removes the metal so cleanly. It's like having a file with one edge and it just takes off the metal. And, uh, when you rub the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the reeds like with sandpaper or something like that you can he work harden the reeds a little bit. from the, They heat up just a little bit. This tool does not do that. So and you can use light pressure and take a very small amount off or you can use heavy pressure and really take a lot of metal off in a short period of time. So it's a very effective tool and it fits inside of a mouthpiece very easily for tuning the blow reeds without removing the reeds, the reed plates from the comb. And on some harmonicas you have enough clearance if the cover plates have been opened up you can actually dress up the draw reeds as well. And just find them in there and for dropping the pitch slightly and then you're not even taking the cover plates off. Of course if you go too far then you do have to take cover plates off and then dress up the tips. But if once you get the hang of this tool, once you get used to the feel of it, you'll find that because you're feeling the actual contact of the tool against the metal through your fingertips, that you develop a very sensitive control of the of the of the instrument of the the tool that you're using and if you just need to make a very small difference you can just barely touch it and you'll still be removing metal on the other hand if you want to 
you make a big difference you bear down a little bit more but it gives you a very um, very intimate tactile control of the tuning process so that's that's pretty much the lowdown I have been using this tool for in one form or another for over 25 years um, this was the very first one I used um, made in a machine shop uh, and this plastic pen holder allows you to hold the tool like a pencil I find it very very comfortable I actually prefer it to uh, pin vices or any other metal handle it's, you know, it's a little over five inches long so there you go that's the lowdown on the draw scraper tool and it, if you look below you'll see information on where you can go to find this tool thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day or night